Hello, I'm Laura Chevarier with Britannica Digital Learning, and welcome to Inside the Classroom with Britannica School. Britannica School is the trusted information database that can be used anywhere, anytime, and on any device. Today we're visiting social studies teacher Anthony White in his class at John P. Stevens High School in Edison, New Jersey. They're working with library media specialist Sherry Stein to research and gather information from online sources for our current project. Let's listen in as they get started. After you complete your research, prepare a brief statement explaining why more attention needs to be drawn on these pressing issues. Uh, the research that we're going to use, or where we're going to get the information for this, we're going to use Britannica. Uh, you're going to get a chance where you're going to get to navigate through and basically find information which will help strengthen your argument for this particular assignment. Britannica School offers a wide variety of content in one safe place. There are thousands of articles from magazines and journals directly related to search topics, as well as 90,000 images, videos, and audio clips. Britannica School also provides access to age-appropriate information databases, a pop-up dictionary in English and Spanish, World Atlas, and 129,000 of the web's best sites for research and learning across all subject areas. I like to introduce a database that might be appropriate for them. So uh, I'll look at it in advance and see what's appropriate and pull out some things to show them. And I like to demonstrate the source. So Britannica is perfect for what we are doing, um, you know, to introduce any of the subjects. It covers everything. And whether they need articles that would be more like an encyclopedia article, some background information, something to start with to the websites and the magazine articles. It really covers it all. Britannica really helps with um, finding videos and pictures all on like one page and it gives you magazine articles and web page articles and it's really easy because it's all in one place. The work cited, that definitely helps a lot. Sometimes it's a hassle to figure out who wrote the website and stuff. The read aloud is good. Sometimes I'll be tired. It's like, I don't feel like reading. I don't feel like looking at a screen. I'm tired. So if you put your earphones in, it's a quiet area, listen, it's good. Introduction. Hey, the earthquake of 2010. Large-scale earthquake that occurred January 12, 2010. I like the emailing. Honestly, I actually like the emailing instead of having to copy and paste. And if I lose the documents, it's not, it's not good. That's happened to me before and I have to start over. So the emailing me actually works for me. Three user-friendly interfaces for elementary, middle school, and high school make it easy to select the portal that's appropriate for each student. The option to toggle among reading levels within each portal further differentiates the learning experience, a key feature for meeting students' diverse needs. I think we often have heterogeneously grouped students, and a teacher needs to reach the students where they are. And I think this resource helps them do that because you can obviously go to, if you needed to, all the way down to the elementary level for the literacy for the, for the students. So I think that's very helpful. Um, we also have different types of learners. Um, I myself was a, am a great visual learner. So this is a great resource for them. Um, audio links to the video, um, the maps that grow when you, t you know, when you bring the cursor over them. I think there's certain things there that uh, students who are visual, audio, tactile, kinesthetic learners, this will be very helpful for them. Students can access Britannica School anywhere at any time and have the same user experience on a desktop computer, laptop, tablet, smartphone, or any internet-connected device with a web browser. This feature makes Britannica School ideal for schools with bring-your-own-device programs, as well as for using it at home to complete homework assignments. Whether it's for home use or here, when they're using a source like Britannica, they're using information that is not free on the web. Any, no matter how good they are at searching Google, or with Google, they're not going to find this information in full. And, you know, that's a really big bonus. They're getting the magazines that are on newsstands or in college libraries, and they're being able to use them. You know, and, and the other information that's within the, the articles in Britannica, again, it's not free out there. So hopefully they, they will, 
even use it at home. And their parents, their younger sisters and brothers who were in school in Edison, become something they, that the family might use. As assignments and projects become more sophisticated, students need to learn more complex skills, such as how to cite resources correctly, handle greater rigor, and be more productive. And Britannica School makes this easy. The best thing about it was you can cite your work, where, you know, as high school students, we kind of have a problem doing that because we don't know how to do it properly. I encourage them to email themselves whatever they're, you know, they're going to use. I, create, I tell them, create your own little library in your email because you can always delete it later on when the project is done. But for now, they have a lot sitting in their email. With Britannica, they can create their own favorites and go back to them so that they don't lose their sources and it's all online. They don't have to, you know, they don't have to take as many notes maybe because they don't really love to always do that. They like to just surf but the surfing is really productive and meaningful because of the saving and the emailing. As a teaching tool, Britannica School helps educators engage students with technology and a variety of content types in a safe manner. It offers a means by which teachers can encourage more student-centered learning, mastery of 21st century skills, and preparation for college and future careers. I like the way that you can get to basically you know, magazine uh, articles, books that are linked to these articles and feel as an, as a, certainly as, a, as a, a supervisor and as a teacher that there's validity there as they're going to those sources. Um, it helps to eliminate one of those concerns as the kids are you know, Googling everything or Wikipedia everything and it's, you, you don't have any sense of the validity and now we do. In colleges, they will be required to use databases in, in their jobs. They're going to be required to use databases. And having used a source like Britannica is something they can tell an employer. Or, you know, yeah, I know how to use databases, and they truly do. And it's different from searching the web. I tell them it's sometimes not as easy. You're, you can put in a, a whole sentence and maybe not get the results you thought you would, and so you have to refine your search. And that activity in and of itself is very important for them because they'll have to do that in college, in a job. Britannica School also offers a convenient and efficient way for teachers to collaborate with each other by sharing lessons aligned to the Common Core and state curriculum standards. No doubt the Common Core is going to, as forcing the social studies specifically, um, to go and look closely at the English, English language arts common core standards. The percentage of informational text that these students will be able, will be expected to master is frankly going through the roof. And both science, social studies are coming more on board with that. So for this, to have this as a resource for the students to find that primary, those primary sources, that informational text, um, will only help us as a resource to, to, to reach the Common Core. You have some teachers who are really going to love the lesson plans. There's actually a teacher who works with ESL students and they, they're going to you know, be a little bit of a lower level, some of them. There's a Great Depression um, lesson plan that exists in Britannica for her to use when she's introducing Of Mice and Men to her students. Britannica School is a versatile resource that can be used as easily in the classroom as in the library, with many benefits for the teachers and students who use it. So this year with using the new standards, I was concerned about reaching all of them. So um, Sherry Stein, our librarian, showed me how Britannica has the standards listed and that there are lesson plans listed underneath. So I was able to go there double check that I was covering everything and as I was looking through the sample lessons I found many that were applicable to my classroom. Um, I just recently was able to use two for the catcher in the rye. One where an activity where we named the chapters and the students had to come up with explanations of why they came up with those names and another where the students had to create text messages for Holden if you were able to use a cell phone today. So it was very fun. <laughs> Well, I like the content that it provides. I mean, there's a whole bunch of scholarly articles that I could use to research and prepare for my lessons. It's invaluable to any teacher. Britannica School is the information resource that prepares students for success in school today and in the world tomorrow. Trusted quality, on demand, on any device. 
in school, at home, wherever learning takes them. At Britannica Digital Learning, we look forward to partnering with you to prepare students for the world they'll shape. For more information or to view other Britannica School videos, please visit our website at info.eb.com. If you have specific questions or would like pricing for a subscription to Britannica School, send us an email at contact at eb.com or call 800-621-3900.